Hello and welcome to On The Mic, a Zoomcast that spotlights students, services, and staff of Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Highlands offers adults 22 years of age and older the opportunity to earn their high school diploma, learn English as a second language, and learn a skill. My name is Mike Ressler and today we are joined by Claudia Hernandez. Claudia, how are you? Hi, I'm excellent. Yeah. Good to see you today. Good to see you too. So, Claudia, you're on the mic today. And uh, before we go into um, learning a little bit more about you, tell us about what we're looking at um, behind you. Where are you at today? Uh, I am in my house. My background is uh, my town from Zacatecas, Mexico. So, so tell us about where you were born, how long you lived there, when you came to, to uh, Sacramento, California, to, uh, you, know, you know, tell us about yourself. Okay, so I was born in Tepetongo, Zacatecas, Mexico. So this is my town. And I got married when I was 19 years old. So I got married and then I moved to Sacramento, with my husband. And I've been here for, yeah, 14 years. So you just gave us your age. I didn't ask for your age. I just want to be clear. I did not ask for your age, but you just <laughs> gave it to us if we know how to do math. Uh, you look great, by the way. And so you've been here 14 years. Yeah. And at some point within the last 14 years, you chose to attend Highlands. Tell us about why you came to Highlands. Well, this is a really good question. I, My husband, he most of the time he's working. So I didn't work, I don't have children. And I always have to wait for him when I have a doctor's appointment, when I have to do a lot of things, or I have to ask my, like somebody who told me. So I decided to go and learn English because I wanted to do my own things by myself. Like no, no way for anybody. So, so Claudia, you didn't want to have to wait for somebody to help you translate, right? What, what the yeah. doctor was saying or, for you to go out and do errands you wanted to actually take control of that and learn english yeah yeah honestly because most of the time i have to wait for my husband sometimes he say i'm working i don't have time so i have to ask another people and also when i was in a doctor i have to ask for a translator and this is not confident because yeah i prefer to have my conversation with my doctor only between he and i and me so yeah of course. Yeah. You know, listen, I think that makes great sense. And that's one of the reasons why we feel so strongly about our English language program, because it does help people uh, communicate better, right? And now not only can they communicate in, in your case, Spanish, but you can then communicate now in English. Yes. And so, so tell us when you, what year did you make it to Highlands? It was in 2015. So 2015, you started as an English language student here at Highlands. Who was your Who was your first teacher? Uh, Lisa Maturaro. Yeah, Lisa B, as I call her, Lisa B. She's. I remember it because my office was over in A3, and I would see you every day in Lisa B's class. Yeah, so it was really good. When I started to learn with her, I didn't speak English, nothing at all, nothing, nothing. And um, I live near the school. But I always take the bus because I didn't want to walk a lot. So and at this point, I didn't write and I take every day the bus for go and learn English with her. So I was with her for uh, three months. And then she said, you have to move with Katrina. Katrina was my second teacher. Boy, oh boy. Well, first of all, I love Lisa B. And, and you were lucky to, to, yes. to get, I mean, listen, we, we have, unbelievable staff and teachers here. Uh, all of our teachers are top notch. Uh, I worked close uh, proximity to Lisa B uh, for quite a few years. And so I, I, I saw how she interacted with students and how she taught. Um, and so that was a great one. But then you moved on to Katrina. So tell us about Katrina. <laughs> well, when I was with Lisa, I was very encouraged. Uh, I remember I thought I was talking with my husband and I say, I, I speak English because I feel like uh, I understand a lot of things and I can communicate. But when Lisa say, okay, this class now is so easy for you. So you have to move with Katrina. So when I moved with Katrina, 
I noticed like I have to learn more and more and more. And yeah, the first two weeks, they were so <laughs> difficult for me when I was there. Uh, but I started, um, I think, almost one year with Katrina. Wow. Yeah, learning. Yeah. You know, you know, Claudia, and you know this now that now that you're a paraeducator, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But you know that most students who love their teachers don't want to move on to another teacher because they love their teachers. But as you found out, uh, the reason why you move to another teacher is so you can learn more English. Yes. Yeah. So when I moved from Lisa, I was sad and I. For one moment, I was thinking of don't go to school anymore because I really miss her. But um, I understand like I have to learn more and I have to grow up. And uh, uh, she decided to move me with Katrina because she wants me uh, uh, my improve. Like she wants me to speak better English and yeah, do better things. And at this point I say, thank you so much, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, well said. Claudia. So 2015, you, you started here at Highlands, which was just one year after the, the entire school started. Three months after that, you moved to Katrina. Did, did you go someplace uh, to another teacher after Katrina? Yeah, <laughs> I have a long story in Highlands. When I was in Katrina's class, there were a, a huge opportunity for me. Um, they offer, the school offer uh, conversation classes. So it was really good for me because uh, I was learning a lot of grammar with Katrina. And after my classes with Katrina, I took classes with Ali Diaz. For sure, yeah, she she started up the conversation uh, mm -hmm. class here at Highlands and it really is a good chance for you to practice, right? Yeah, so I was learning a lot of grammar with Katrina and then I was able to use my grammar with Ali Diaz because uh, yeah, in my house, honestly, I don't speak uh, English. And also, if my husband is out of town and I don't have kids and my family is in Mexico, so when I call them, I speak Spanish, no English. So I decided to just take advantage of the school and I attend uh, conversation classes with Ali Diaz. And yeah, so after um, Katrina's class, I moved to Tom's class. So he was my last teacher as uh, ELD teacher with Tom. So you went from Lisa B to Katrina yeah. to mm -hmm. Ali doing some conversation class and then to Tom. Yes. Now tell us, uh, and Tom is great too. I mean, he, he has been with us for a long time. He used to teach high school uh, with us. And then, he, and so you went to high school here. Yeah. So when they say uh, if I was interesting to get my high school diploma. I always say no because it's in English. So I, I was like, maybe this is going to be so difficult for me and I won't be able to do it. Because in my town, I get only my elementary school. So I didn't go to high school, for nothing. But Highlands has a lot of amazing teachers. But for me, uh, my Lisa, uh, Katrina, Ali Diaz, Tom, they were my my best teacher because they encouraged me to uh, go to high school and get my diploma because they say uh, you can do it and um, they always have a really good positive things for me and yeah so you know don't say like that you can do it yeah right and because you 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 transitioned from english language to high school and then you got to graduate right Yes. And, yeah. and that was your husband in the audience when you graduated? Yeah, he was there. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So you got to graduate. And tell us what you're doing now. So now I am a teacher assistant. I am an ELD paraeducator. So it's really good because that thing that I was learning uh, six years ago, now I'm helping another students that they are like me. They want to speak English they want to be I would say they want to be free like me because when you you know when you speak English and you are able to go to the doctor or DMV or maybe uh, you have to communicate with your teachers uh, kids teachers or something uh, and you can do it by yourself you feel free so 
So now I'm helping the students to feel free in the future. That is, I mean, well said, Claudia. I mean, that is so true that that you don't feel like you have to stick around your, your apartment or your house because you don't speak the English language. So you don't feel comfortable going to the store or to the doctor's office. So you don't make doctor's appointments. I mean, there is a, there is a freeing aspect of understanding and, 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 and reading and, and writing and speaking English, correct? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So tell us, you said your husband went to your graduation. Uh, how long have you been married? Tell us what he does for a living. So I've been married for 14 years and he's a truck driver. Yeah, he has been truck driver for um, almost 30 years, no, 29 years. Yeah. So he's been so he's been doing that a very long time. As yes. you know, to, through our high school uh, diploma program, we also offer truck driving. So you, so you kind of know what he's doing. You know, he has his class A license and he and he and he travels uh, throughout California driving truck during most of the week, doesn't he? Yes, yes, yes. So I um familiar with truck driver because he explained me and and all he say like uh, it's a really good opportunity uh, that the school has this career because um, yeah it takes a long time to learn and get the their driver license yeah so claudia tell us how long have you been an employee here at highlands community charter and technical schools uh, for i've been employed for almost two years in october i will complete two years yeah 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 i remember i remember the, t the period of time almost two years ago when uh, we were going to offer you that position up in Marysville, right? Yes. Yeah. So before I was doing like, a, um, because I, I, I need to complete 200 credits for my high school diploma and I need a lot of elective credits. So I asked if I can help Ali Diaz for a, like as a part educator, just to complete like some credits and I think I did a good job, and that's why you offer me the job as a part I think you did a good job too, Claudia. <laughs> yeah. I do. I think you did too. So tell me, before we, we say goodbye to you, Claudia, tell us about the best thing about working at Highlands. Well, the best thing is, even when I get my high school diploma, I'm still learning. Uh, so I'm helping the students. Uh, to learn English, to feel free, like I say, but um, English is our second language, so we never stop to learn, and I, I'm i still learning, so sometimes I talk to Tom, and he still helping me, or Kayla Brown, she's helping me too, uh, yeah, and I never stop to learn, so this is a really good thing, because uh, I'm working, I'm helping students, but I'm still learning, and this is a really huge opportunity for me, yeah. It is. And I think it's a great opportunity for our students who are in your class, Claudia, because now you can tell them if they ever feel like they want to quit, that they can't quit, right? That they, they should not quit because the, the more they come to school, the more they learn English as a second language, the freer they will be. Yeah, I always explain them that part. Like uh, sometimes it's difficult or it's frustrating like uh, when we are trying to learn a new language. And it's normal because it's difficult, but uh, uh, if we practice and we try every day, we can do it. And um, I always say like, okay, do you want to go to the doctor and ask for a translator? They say no. Okay, so maybe it's time to keep going and learn. Keep, keep coming to school, right? Yeah, keep coming to school and yeah. Well, Claudia, listen, I think most of us have been, a, uh, all of us have been a real big fan of yours since you started coming to school uh, with Lisa B in building A3. We've seen you grow throughout the years from English language to learning English as a second language to attending high school and earning your high school diploma. And now you're a almost two year employee of Highlands Community Charter School. We certainly thank you for, for uh, all you do for our students up in Marysville. And, and uh, thanks again for hanging out on the mic. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah.